Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about how to pass one dimensional array in some function ok so, so for that you need a function so let's create some function here and in this function you will be passing some array so let's create the array first ok so let's suppose you are having 1 2 3 and this is your array and you want to pass this array inside this function now if you are writing like this then you are just passing the zeroth element to this function okay but if you want to pass full array then you have to write only the name of that okay so this is your array let me give some space here okay so you will be passing ar now how to get it the way is you will be writing like this okay this is the syntax for getting your array and if you are sure how many elements are there you can put the number of elements as well okay so you know how many elements you are taking from here so you'll be keeping it otherwise it is optional you can skip that okay and another point to remember is the size of the array will be available only inside main function I mean only wherever the array was created if you will pass array like this inside this function you won't be able to get the size of the array okay because that is not known to this function or any other function so for that we pass size explicitly okay so I know that size is 3 so I'll be passing that size and let's get that size also here okay and simply we can just use that size and print the elements in this okay so let's do that c out arr of i okay done now there is another problem you are statically giving the size here so whenever you change your array you will have to change here as well so in order to remove this dependency you can create a size here as well so to get the size of your array the syntax is like this arr divided by size of your single element in that okay let's suppose we are taking zero so let's understand what is the meaning of this one this will give you the size of array in bytes so you are having integer it means four byte and three elements means four into three twelve so this will give you twelve as the result now you want to find the number of elements in that then you have to divide by this element I mean this size and the size of array 0 element which is nothing but this 1 will be 4 so 12 divided by 4 you will get 3 here okay so that's how we generally pass the size of the array okay so let's compile this code and you can see 1 2 3 so this is how you pass array in your function okay and let's write the size of this one there won't be any issue let's compile this again see it has compiled again no problem so this is how we pass array in function now let's look at the next video which is about how to pass two dimensional array in function that is little different than passing one dimensional array i'll see you in the next video